Hey there, this is uh, Kevin Alvey with uh, Figgy Pop Farms. I have something to share with you and uh, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, I'm a little heartbroken, uh, but uh, this was the first year that I've done winter storage and uh, I, I, I think I lost a lot of trees. So I have to go through uh, each one of these and uh, do a scratch test just to see if these trees are totally dead. Um, I had a I had a hundred trees. I put them in cold storage, which means I had a shed and I insulated it very well. Uh, but I didn't put any supplemental heat. Um, I had kind of learned that I, I should have put supplemental heat, but I didn't have I don't have electricity to the shed. Uh, so like the only option was like a gas, uh, gas or natural gas heater. So I just kind of opted to not do it. Well, I was wrong. Uh, I'm pretty certain that these trees uh, froze and then rotted. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you all these trees and then I'm going to come back and do a little scratch test on one, show you how to do that and then just figure out what I'm going to do next. The nice thing is, last year I also uh, took cuttings from every, you know, basically everything I had and uh, rerouted those cuttings just to test viability of my trees and, you know, a zone 6B um, just to try to learn, you know, just try to make sure that I'm not, you know, trying to propagate and sell cuttings and trees without knowing the quality uh, of, of what I had. So I really didn't lose, I probably didn't lose very many varieties, but I lost a lot of trees. So I'll show you here because this is close to 100 trees and that very likely a, a lot of them will still come back. But uh, what I've got, what I've got, the, the, the trunks and everything, the trees themselves are dead and I'm just hoping that the root stock is not dead on all these trees, but it very well could be. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so we're just gonna walk down here and look at these, and you can tell, you know, they're stacked three deep. Um, there's a lot of trees here, and see how red they are. The stalks are very very red. Now not not all of them are, um, but at least the tops of all of these trees are gone, which means it'll take a little bit, you know, if the root stock is still good, it's still gonna take a little while for these trees to come out of it. Um, if they ever do, you know, it just may just be dead. Uh, and that's kind of embarrassing and, and very heartbreaking. I even couldn't sleep last night, or the other night, because I finally came to this conclusion and, and recognized this. So let me get it. Let me get set up here, and then we'll do a scratch test, um, and then figure out where to go from there. Now, of course, you have to be very careful doing this because you know this tree could still be alive. You know, there's little there's little buds right here. Now, it doesn't mean they're still good, but it looks like what happened is these trees started to bud out, and then may have gotten. You know, had several warm days or something in the shed and then started to bud out and then it froze during that time. So, uh, like I said, let's, let's empty this out carefully. Just hard to do with one hand. Uh, but we can, we'll be able to tell if this is dead or not. Okay, look at those roots. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but, no, oh, okay, let's try that again. These, these roots are very flat. They have no resistance whatsoever. Now that one didn't look terrible, but look how they're just Look how they're just coming apart. Like I said, there's no resistance at all. 
I put rocks in my drainage holes just to keep from losing all the soil. But there's absolutely no resistance. So this, this tree is completely dead. Like that one, I mean, they're just pulling right out. Absolutely just nothing there. Well, that one's a little. I'm just continuing to pull. So everything on the outside was dead. Oh, look at that. So, sorry. I just happened to kind of skin that root. And I mean, it just absolutely just pulls right apart. So, I mean, this is no resistance. So, and I am going all the way down and I'm just gonna show there's a lot of roots here. well-established tree and look at all that there's a lot of mycelia a lot of mycelia in there and as I'm as I'm over here doing this video I just see a little skunk run by I wonder if we can see him I don't think we can I think he's too quick for us Wow, way too fast. I don't even see where he went. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I wanted to share that. So I'm going to go through every one of these trees, every one of these trees and do that process. Um, now, I may not completely do that to all the trees uh especially if you know uh, i do a scratch test and and they come back negative you know i mean they come back where i have some green then i'm not going to do that to all of them but all of those roots on that outside edge were dead and these are feeling pretty stiff but you know you can tell i mean they're the skin you know the the bark's coming right off of them and everything so you know that tree's dead that tree's gone the interesting thing is i will i will uh, basically save all this soil and compost it and put it back into use because uh, the new trees and everything will feed on those roots that have broken down so i'll salvage all this because this was pro mix and uh compost and leaf mold and rabbit poo and all that other good stuff. So there's still some good stuff here. All right, now let's test another tree. Let's see how close we can get. I did a scratch test on it. It's not gonna let me get much closer. Come on, zoom in, we need to see. It's not gonna give me much. Okay, you can still see that because I can see it in the camera. So that is still green. Now this tree isn't doing well. It's not, there's no, it's given me no buds or anything. Uh, zone 6B, it is the almost the, the first weekend in May. Um, and there's still, you know, it's got a, a bud. You can see one forming right there, but it's really taking it some time to get there. So. But this tree's okay. It's green, so I just have to make sure and keep it keep it watered, but not not damp, not moist, so it won't rot. But uh, so we got one. We got one. Yay! One success out of <laughs> after I grow through all these, we'll we'll know. But this Desert King is healthy and good and ready to go. Well, I just wanted to share my embarrassing experience that I'm absolutely heartbroken over. 
but uh, I am I am basically over it. I'm okay, uh, but I felt the need to share this for prosperity and for learning for new fig growers. So if you're growing figs and you're using winter storage, make sure you don't do it without supplemental heat. Um, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened. They just, they froze. So uh, just, just having them in a cold storage without supplemental heat uh, in zone 6B where it will reach freezing quite a lot, you know, quite often, not severe freezing, but uh, freezing, you will have some trees dying. All right, there we go. Kevin Alvey from Figgy Pop Farms. Have a Figgy Pop day.